All right. Welcome back to another episode of my movie review series, episode 146. Now, last week I said I was going to uh, come back and do a review on, on the Robert Rodriguez film, another Robert Rodriguez film. And this is the, uh, the last of the uh, Mexico trilogy, Once Upon a Time in Mexico. The sequel to Desperado, which I did a review on right there. Yeah, man, 2003. Antonio Banderas comes back as Al Marachi, Salma Hayek, Johnny Depp, Mickey Rourke, Ava Mendez, Danny Trejo, Enrique Iglesias. Uh, Marco Leonardoni, Cheech Marin, Ruben Blades, William Defoe. <laughs> Say, <Same>, man, <laughs> how the all star cast this movie is. This movie has, you know, of course, you know, directed by Robert Rodriguez and music by Robert, Robert Rodriguez, cinematography by Robert Rodriguez, edited by Robert Rodriguez. <laughs> <laughs> written by Robert Rodriguez, <laughs> produced by Elizabeth Evid Evelyn Ev Evelyn Elizabeth Evelyn Carlos Galarito. Galado, Carlos Galado, and Robert Rodriguez. <laughs> hey, this guy, oh man, this guy, you know, he wears so many hats. I'm telling you, you know, this guy. Nobody works hard as him, okay? This guy, damn. That's why he's, he's one of my favorite, that's why he's one of my favorite directors, okay? This guy, yes. I praise to him, man. Nobody works as hard as him. I mean, shit, this guy, you know, this, this guy, he is the guy. <laughs> yeah, Robert Rodriguez, the man, straight up the man. I mean, this movie is his baby, you know, it's, this is his baby, you know. Only thing he's not doing is acting in it, but <laughs> he done everything else. I mean, Jesus. Yeah, the score, cinematography, editing, co-produced, directed the whole thing, you know, wrote the whole thing. I mean, Jesus. You guy's a fucking genius. Love his work. Love this guy. But yep, yeah. But yeah, man, this movie, yeah, this, this is the uh, the final in the Mexico in the Mexico trilogy, you know, we had El Mariachi, you had Desperado, and then came this movie, Once Upon a Time in Mexico. And the way that this movie was done, you know Robert Rodriguez, you know, he um yeah he, he had a certain style in making this movie. I mean, yeah, he shot, he chopped, he scored everything. <laughs> Yeah, you know, this movie is pretty much two mo two movies in one. Two movies in one. I mean, yeah, you got, you got this movie, and you have another story within it. You know, the flashbacks that El Marachi has, you know, of what happened with um, he, Carolina, their daughter, and the, uh, the enemy in the movie named Marquez, you know. Everything that was pretty much building in this movie, it all led up to this particular movie. So yeah, you know, yeah. So yeah, it was pretty much a story within a story, you know. What happened between Desperado and this movie, you'll see it in this movie. <laughs> Tell you, man. I mean, it's like a, it's kind of like an anthology, but you got two stories 
in one movie, you know. But here's the thing. The movie itself, you know, is just one movie. But then you got that one story sitting in that movie. <laughs> sitting, 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 in, sitting in that this story. But yeah, you know, the way, the, way, the way he shot it, though, you know. The way he wrote it, the way he shot it, you know. That was his thing, you know. That was that, that that was the style he was really going for. And yeah, it's a it's a pretty pretty good style, man. I tell you, it's, yes, yes. I mean, everything done just right. I gotta tell you, man. Yeah, this movie though. Yeah, Johnny Depp in this movie. You know, he playing a boy, a psychotic <laughs> CIA agent. I mean. You know, yeah, Sheldon Jeffrey Sands, you know, he recruits El Marachi so he can, uh, he, he recruits El Marachi to kill Marquez because he knows about the history between those two. So, yeah, he giving El Marachi his chance for retribution. So, yeah, so, yeah, Marquez, you know, yeah, he, he wanted to, um, he would take out Marquez, you know, and Marquez, he's hired by a drug lord named Armando Barillo to assassinate the president of Mexico. So, Blades, Blades, I'm saying, I'm thinking about rooting Blades for, for some reason. Yeah, Sands is uh, his angle, Johnny Depp's character, Sands, his angle in this whole thing. Well, he restored balance into everything. I mean, yeah, like I said, this guy, he's a real psychotic dude. I mean, one part in this movie, you know, when he was uh, recruiting, when he was, uh, yeah, when he was recruiting El Marachi, one part in this movie, you know, he just told him, you know, well, first of all, you know, he recommended this certain Mexican dish to him. <laughs> and, you know, yeah, it is so good. This certain dish, it is so good. The best he ever tasted it is so good that once he pays the check, he's going to go into the back, go into the kitchen, and shoot the cook. <laughs> because that's what he does. He restores balance. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, damn, I mean, what? I mean, if the dish is so good, I mean, why would you want to, um, Shoot the cook. I mean, I mean, the the dish is good. I mean, it's not like it's not like this shit is uh, this thing is it's just pure shit, and you just want to um, shoot the bastard that made it. It's not like you want. It's not like you want to do that. I mean, this thing is so good, the best you ever had. But you want to go in the back and shoot the guy that made it just for making something so 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 tasty. I mean, damn, but hey, that's the way his mind works, though. I mean, yeah, you know, yeah, L tried it, <laughs> didn't like it, spit it out, <laughs> yeah, it was all right, guess not, <laughs> yeah, so, you know, yeah, signed the, uh, the sign his name on the check. Got up, went straight to the kitchen, took out his gun, went straight to the kitchen, you know, walked over, shot the cook, and then walked right out to the back because his car was parked outside in the, in the back anyway. So, <laughs> but yeah, I tell you though, man, that was just the craziest thing I've ever seen and the funniest thing you could come across in this movie. Yeah, like I said, no, that's how his mind works, you know. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, you know, Marquez and uh and Barillo, 
They're planning to assassinate the president of Mexico. So, Sands, you know, knowing that that is a bad thing to do, he's going to uh, get El Marachi, the man that has beef with Marquez. Yeah, now is your time to go and get your revenge on this guy. And at the same time, yeah, you can uh, save the government as well. So, <laughs> so, yeah, you know, like I said, man, how his mind works. But yeah, that's just one of the craziest things I could do I've, ever, I've ever seen, you know. Yeah, he goes in the back, shoots the cook, and he has to leave. Yeah, his car is parked in the back anyway, so. So, yeah, you know. Yeah, Marquez, you know, this guy, he, uh, in one of the flashback scenes, you know, he and, um, he, uh, takes out El Marachi and Carolina, some of the highest character in Desperado. Yeah, he takes them out. As a matter of fact, you know, he uh he wound yeah, he uh he wounds El Marachi, but he killed Carolina and their daughter. So, you know he goes so you know, El Marachi, you know, he's a uh, he goes and uh, he he goes and uh, look for Marquez. He's going Straight to the man himself. And he going to uh, settle this old score. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you, man. Not only that was going down, but you also got the... Uh, Former FBI agent George Ramirez, yeah, Sands, uh, persuades him to come to come out of retirement and kill Barillo. So you know he gets, so yeah, you know he gets Marachi, El Marachi, to go after Mar Marquez, and he gets um, Ramirez to go after Barillo. But not, but you know, but not, uh, none, none of this, of course, would ever turn out to be very, uh, very easy. I mean, you got this, uh, this, this, uh, this other character named, um, um, God, how the hell do you pronounce her name? Eva Mendez's character in this movie, <laughs> um, address, address, address. Yeah, yeah. You know, you got this character named Address, and she's uh, is revealed to be Barillo's daughter. Now, when uh, she gets a hand, she when she gets a hold of um of Sands, you know, Sands, you know he. Believes that um his uh his mission is a uh, his mission is a uh, is complete. But once Barillo and Andres gets a hold of him, you know they uh they drill his eyes out. So now he got a, so yeah. So now he he got a, you know he lived through the whole thing, but you know, geez, you know he got to uh, deal with uh, these uh, he de deal with um, deal with th this whole thing for uh, um, I'm at loss for words here. <laughs> he got to deal with this whole ordeal for himself. I mean, yeah, you know he got a this movie. Lots of uh, not I'm not gonna say twists and turns, but you know it has lots of um, uh, obstacles. You know it, it's 
you know, the problem builds and builds and builds, but just like tumblers, you know, just like the domino effect, one hit, and it all comes traveling, crumbling, it all comes down, it all goes down. So yeah, man, I tell you, once uh, Barillo is taken care of, once Andreas is taken care of, once Marquez is taken care of, you know, everything is 100% back in order the way that uh, Sands predicted it that it would be, you know, I mean, that's what, that's what he does, he brings order, he brings balance back to the, uh, he brings, uh, he restores balance, that's what I'm trying to say, but yeah, but yeah, I'll tell you though, yeah, great way that uh, this movie was, um, like I said before, great way that this movie was, um, Completely written out, written out, shot, chopped, <laughs> scored. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I tell you, key moments in this movie. You know, you got the, uh, you got uh, Enrique Iglesias, his his character. You know. The uh, guitar, the guitar case, and it's a uh, a flamethrower. So you know, <laughs> yeah, he's firing the guitar case, and flames just shooting right out. Um, the way at uh, the way um, Marachi take out Marquez, you know, you know. Shoots him both, yeah. Shoots, shoots him in both his kneecaps, taking out his knees completely. I mean, damn. And then, yeah, he just scores that headshot. <clears throat> but yeah, I tell you, one of the best. Hmm. One of the, one of the one of the, should I should I say one of the best? No, maybe yeah, maybe probably. You know, Desperado is better. <laughs> you know, it's it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, this is a real good picture though. It's a real 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 amazing picture. You gotta check out though. It's just um laid back at times, but then you know you got the um you got the um story that unfolds on it. Real good stuff, though. Real, real good stuff. You know, Robert Rodriguez's score throughout the whole thing, you know, you get that, uh, you get that, um, rem remembers from Desperado in the beginning of the film, you know, El Marachi walking around town with the, um, and with, a, with a new guitar, you know, playing that, um, uh, that old tune that you uh, remember, that you uh, remembered in uh, Desperado. So yeah, I tell you, yeah, you play, you're playing the tune, but you're in a nice little, um, nice little slower version of it. But yeah, you know, like I said, you know, yeah, Desperado. I, I rated that movie a. Perfect five out of five. For this movie, yeah, <sighs> not quite as good, but it's just real amazing all together. It's a great four out of five. You know, you gotta check it out. You know, like I said, it's a story within a story. But yeah, once upon a time in Mexico. Four out of five. That's my review. And I'm sticking to it. 
Now next week, next week, I'll be back with another review. Whatever that's going to be, I really don't know yet. But I got a week to figure it out. <laughs> this is pre-taped, by the way. You know, whatever I did, you know, you know, whatever I did when I, when I was wearing this, this is right out there. So, yeah, check out my other shit right here. Subscribe to me right here. But in the meantime, in between time, Jack, this show is off.